Assalamu alaikum. I would like to share with you a comment and some of my responses to it. It was on my one of my recent uh, one of my recent videos, uh, which was a video response to a Christian zealot on Twitter. Um, this guy, he seems to be an Arab Christian. He said, as Arabic speaking Christian, I feel ashamed of using the term Allah, since this word reflects Islamic teachings. Uh, one more thing, Allah is a generic name. Now here, I responded uh, with, uh, according to your Bible, Jesus said Allah. And here I'm referring to the statement that he said on the cross, uh, allegedly said on the cross, since Christians believe that he was crucified and we Muslims don't believe that Jesus was crucified. Uh, he said, Allah, Allah, lima sabachtani, which means, my God, my God, why have you, why have you forsaken me? So, in Aramaic and uh, uh, Hebrew dialects, Allah or Allah is God. So, here I wrote, uh, why? Would you feel ashamed? It seems that you don't know Islam except for a distorted image of it in your mind. Learn more about Islam from its genuine and authentic sources and you'll be shame free. And then I added this comment. Why don't you feel ashamed of saying God in English? Because it's related to British colonialism and US wars. Hiroshima and Nagasaki alone is sufficient to make you feel ashamed. Why don't you feel ashamed of saying Dieu in French because it is related to French colonial crimes against humanity, one million killed in Algeria alone? Why don't you feel ashamed of saying Dios because it is related to Spanish conquistadors who massacred millions in Latin America and the Pacific Islands? I highly recommend that you read and learn more. Now, of course, here it's not the two quoque uh, fallacy because we Muslims uh, it is prohibited in Islam to kill and harm civilians of any faith and this was not done um, except for a few exceptions which were like black dots on white pages of Islamic history but the Islamic teachings prohibit harming and killing innocent civilians of any faith and fighting is only permissible against enemy combatants in the battlefield as in surah number two surah al-baqarah verse number 190 and fight in the way of allah those who fight you but do not transgress for surely allah loves not transgressors so here he responded with this comment according to islam lying is halal in three cases which case do you choose to justify lying oh, i was not lying about anything here Anyway, Jesus never used the word Allah simply because it's an Arabic. Even the similar word in Aramaic is Allah. Now, it's in the Bible. It's very clear that Jesus used this term. And even uh, more in the Bible, it's mentioned when he was asked about the first uh, commandment. He said, uh, he responded, Shama Israelu, listen, O Israel, or hear, O Israel. Adonai Elohainu Adonai Achat. Adonai means Lord. Our Lord, God, is, is one and only. So Elohainu, Elohainu, Eloh, Elohuna, our God. So he used the term Eloh, which means God. And as I mentioned also, the uh, one about the crucifixion or the one the person was on the cross Allah Allah lima sabachtani my God my God why have you forsaken me he didn't say my God he said Allah so the Aramaic Allah yes it's similar both are Semitic languages both are dialects of Semitic languages and this shows that yes this is the name of the one only God that we worship they didn't use it, Jews, as this time, use only words referred to their god, not gods of pagan, pagan nation. No, he doesn't have a point here. If you see that he has a point, please correct me if I'm wrong. But again, 
I made the point and I made it clear to him that there's no reason to be ashamed of Arabic. And uh, it seems that this guy has some stigmas and some prejudice based on distorted concepts about Islam in his mind. Here this said uh, the three cases in which lying is halal. I think he's referring to the hadith of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in which he said that lying is prohibited except in three cases. First case first case is in war. Of course, if you're caught by your enemy or if your enemy asks you, you will not tell him where why where is your army campaigning or where are you hiding your your weapons and your munitions. Second case, a man to his wife, he can tell her you are the most beautiful woman in the world. I have never seen a woman more beautiful than you, or I love you more than anything else, something like that. But I, so it is permissible in that case to please the wife. Third case, which is when you reconcile between two uh, people, when two people are quarreling and, uh, you know, there's a quarrel between them or there's a, a, you know some kind of discord between two persons you can go to one of them and tell him well the other side or the other person wants to reconcile with you he always speaks good about you he thinks well of you such type of lying is uh, permissible in Islam but what's uh, unethical about it I can't see anything wrong with that I don't know if you guys dis- disagree with me please write in the comments so here, just uh, responded to this comment. Let's resume. Now my final response, my final comment here. Say, you proved me right with your last reply. You don't know Islam. It's just that false and distorted image in your mind. Lying is a sin in Islam, and the only case that's permitted is when someone's life is threatened. Here, referring to when someone is uh, threatened because of his faith, is about to be killed and persecuted by, you know, because of his faith, he can lie about it. Or he can declare his faith and maybe he can be killed as a martyr. So, such as in situations where Muslims are being killed. And this used to happen, unfortunately, in my country, Lebanon, where killing occurred at checkpoints during the Civil War on the basis of one's religion. This is one of the misfortunate and unfortunate events that happened during the civil war and we Lebanese are all aware of it. Hopefully it will never happen again. Beside that, lying is a major sin that leads to hellfire. Uh, I'm referring to this hadith. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم عليكم بالصدق فإن الصدق يهدي إلى البر وإن البر يهدي إلى الجنة وإياكم الكذب فإن الكذب يهدي إلى الفجور وإن الفجور يهدي إلى النار. Be truthful for truthful truthfulness leads to uh, righteousness and righteousness guides to paradise to Jannah and beware of lying lying leads to uh, misconduct and misconduct leads to hellfire pronunciation differs from one dialect to another and in fact it is the name in Semitic languages the name of Allah Allah in Semitic languages Hebrew Aramaic Arabic despite minor variations you, you're, you know, this, these minor variations in pronouncing names and in spelling names happens and occurs from one dialect to another. Anyway, your hatred for Islam is based on ignorance and false information. Knowledge will set you free. Keep learning. And I'm calling everyone, uh, especially non-Muslims, to learn more about Islam. And actually, there's a lot of Islamophobes and Islam haters who learned about Islam and eventually became Muslim because the only thing they knew about Islam is lies and misconceptions and if you want to say distorted images uh, about Islam instead of learning the teachings of Islam uh, from the source from the genuine and authentic sources may Allah guide us all Thank you so much for listening and watching. Wassalamu alaikum.